Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts, and I am going to do some stamping today. And I want to introduce you to a new channel that I found. First off, she, Angela, at DP Creepy Cuties, commented on one of my creepy coloring videos, and I went and checked her channel out. And she does creepy diamond paintings. And I watched her intro video and I was hooked. Generally, if your uh, video um, introduction or whatever, if it's longer than five seconds, you've lost me because my attention is just not there. <laughs> but she had my attention. She loves creepy things. And her channel is D, as in diamond, P, as in painting, DP Creepy Cuties. And her name is Angela and she is amazing. So please go over and show her lots of love and let her know that Bex sent you. And let's see if we can get her to 200 subscribers. I think that would be amazing and I would appreciate it so much. And this is for Love A Little Channel. Hashtag Love A Little Channel, which was started by Carol at Crinkled Path. And I will have everybody's information below so that you can go check out DP Creepy Cuties, Angela's channel. I'm just going to begin with the ephemera by stamping. I'm going to stamp some of these. Spider, ladybug, grasshopper, and I do not know the correct scientific names for the insects or the spiders or anything. I'm going to use black soot today. I have them laid out according to what I'm going to die cut. So I got the bugs that would fit inside of these and I've cut these to the correct size. These are three by three and these are what I'm going to die cut them out of. But I'm just going to keep them with it so I'll remember which one goes with which. Let's see. I'm going to just stamp everything in black. Then I'm going to go back and ink them up or color them up whatever colors that I really want them to be. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to, let's see, we have four of these. And four of these. So I'll do one of each. Let's do the ladybug here. And this is was just white cardstock scraps, and I just toffee dyed them, tea and coffee together. Just going to get them as close to the center as I can. Because then I will die cut them out later. The other bug. Not being too precise, I just want them in the middle. Okay, we did these two, so let's put that aside. This looks like some type of a beetle. Hard shell. Nice. So again, this is for hashtag love a little channel started by Carol at Crinkle Path. And I am highlighting Angela's channel, which is DP Creepy Cuties. Her diamond painting is creepy things and some of them are cute, some are dolls, some of them are, you know, on the scary side, but that's what I like and I would love it if you all would just flood her with subscribers and let's get her up to 200. She's at 119 right now. This is some type of a little flying insect. I'm not sure what it is, but it's going to fit in that little circle there. Let me go ahead and do two of these. So pop on over to Angela's channel. I will link her below and show her some love, love a little channel. I want everyone, chan I want everyone's channel to get big. And that goes with that one. So we've done that one. So let's get some more out here. We have this bug. I remember right, this one might be green or the wings might be a metallic color. I think could be very wrong okay we got that one that goes with that one this goes with this one okay let's just put the ones up here that we've already done so I don't get all mixed up here okay here's a grasshopper 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Hope everyone is having a wonderful, crafty day today. Awesome. I know I whisper awesome a lot, and when I listen back to it, it really sounds creepy. <laughs> So I really need to quit whispering because that does sound creepy. That might really creep people out. I am creepy, but I don't mean to be scary. Okay, I have the butterfly and the dragonfly. Then I do have a spider. And I um, think that is, we call them a June bug here where I live. Not sure what the correct name of it is. I need to do two, here's the die cut for that one, two butterflies and two dragonflies. Kind of ran out of stamping blocks and I didn't want to have to change them out. I wanted to just make my video. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. I think I want this side. Very pretty. It looks pretty just the black. Oops, nope, nope, don't do that one again. I'm gonna move this down. Do the dragonfly. Just trying to get these close to the center. Ooh, that's pretty. That's possible. Two of the dragonflies. Just do it on this side. And I have two left, so let me move that up. Let me wipe this off real quick. That's the spider, so we want one spider. Let me do it again. Ooh, that's a nice one. And I have the Let's move this down. I think it's a June bug that we call them. I think I could be really wrong. There we go. Awesome. See, I whispered awesome and again. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. That does sound pretty creepy. <laughs> there are all of them over there. Let's see what we've done. We did these. Here. There's my grasshopper and my flying insect. There's the other one. And here we have this one, this one. And there we go. And let me go die cut all of these out and I will be back in a moment. Everything has been die cut. They are ready to go and I already know that this ladybug type beetle, whatever they are. I know it's going to be, have a little red hue to it. So I am using my H mahogany and I'm not going to ink it up. I'm just using what is already on this. So I just want it to have like, just like a splash of color, like a watercolor. Because later, whenever I go to use these, I will come back and ink them up to whatever colors that I need to go with whatever I'm using them with. So just like that, just some color on it. That works great. Put that up there. We're finished with that. Let's go with the grasshopper. It's going to be green. It's a little bit brighter. Let's see. I think that will work. Let's just give it a little bit of color here. These are just Crayola colored pencils. That's all these are. Just putting a little color on these. Just like that. Just a little bit. Who else is going to be green? I think this one is green. I think it is. I could be really wrong. But it's going to be green today.
not being too precise. Just want a little color on them. That one's going to get a little darker. I, if I'm remembering correctly, the body is a little, not the body, but whatever this front part of it is, it's a little darker. I could be so wrong on these colors. Just having fun. It's getting them a little color on them. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. Obviously, it's a flying insect, but <clears throat> it doesn't look like a fly and it doesn't look like a bumblebee. So we're just going to go with something pretty. The color of these wings is pretty color. Okay, and how about, do we have a purple? Light blue. Hmm. There is not a purple in here. Look at this. Unless this is. It says blue. Two browns. No purple. Hmm. Bizarre. How about light blue then? Just something a little different. Just getting some color on there. Again, this video is highlighting Angela's channel, which is DP Creepy Cuties. The DP stands for diamond painting, and I've never done a diamond painting ever. Probably won't do one. I'm not going to say never ever, but I love her channel. I love her humor. I love her positivity. I love to uh, watch her videos. So pop on over to Angela's channel, DP Creepy Cuties, and let's see if we can get her up to 200 subscribers. She is at 119 right now. And let her know that I sent you. Be sure to watch her intro video if you like creepy things. It's just awesome. Just love it. I think we're going to go with, well, that might be a little too dark. Let's see how dark this is. Yes, that's a little too dark. I don't want it that dark. I really like this color. And I know these are probably not the colors at all that these things are, but that's what the color they're going to be today. Let's get a little bit of a brown color for the body. That looks awesome. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and color this a little brown, just get some contrast of colors going on there in the body of this one. There, that looks great. And this one's going to be brown also. Uh, yellow, why not? Let's see if you can even see it. Yeah, you can see it, it looks good. Those finished and we have two butterflies <coughs> and the spidey I'm just going to do spidey in just who this is kind of a red let's turn it over and see that work let's do this for spidey buddy do not know what species this is but Today, it is a brick red color. There we go, little color on that one. I know a June bug is brown. Let's get this brown. Just lightly go over it. And a bit of antenna, anten, antennas, antenners. There's not an ER at the end of antenna, I don't think. That looks good. Okay, we have two butterflies. Oh, we have a whole bunch down here. What am I thinking? We have lots more things. That one, I going to be a green. This one, hmm. Let's do, is this orange color? 
Let's see. That's kind of an orange. Let's do the butterfly. Orange. Here. Just want a little hint of color. I'm not looking for the correct colors. I'm just looking for a little bit of color on them. And that's it. That works out good. Let's scoot these over a little tiny bit. That one needs a different color on it. I'm just feeling like, mmm, orange on this one too. These are Beck style bugs, so they can just be any color. Great. Okay, three more. I think I said I wanted this to be green. You know, actually, this could be one of my creepy coloring videos. I think I'm going to add this to my creepy coloring video list, and I will put hashtag creepy coloring in the title because you can color anything you want. Use mixed medias. You can color whatever's creepy to you. A regular doll would be creepy to some people. So if that's what's creepy to you, then color it. Color your doll or a teddy bear. If you think it's creepy, that is fine with me. Go ahead and color it. Use the hashtag creepy coloring and tag myself, Bex. My channel is Black Whisper Crafts, AKA Bex. If you tag me then I can pop over and see your videos. I'm going to go ahead and tag this. I'll tag this in the description because I want the main point of this video to be Love a Little Channel promoting DP, Creepy Cuties, Diamond Painting, Creepy Channel. And even if you don't like those things, just pop one over and subscribe anyway. Just want to show them show her a lots of love get her channel to 200 i don't diamond paint never diamond painted but i sure do love her content love watching her videos okay what do we want these two let's see oh uh, here's a lighter a lighter brown <laughs> can't really see that Let's go over it with this kind of a red color. That's better. And Love a Little Channel was started. Hashtag Love a Little Channel was started by Carol at Crinkle Path. Go check out her channel also. Lots of good things going on over there. There. That looks nice. One more. I wonder what black looks like on this paper. It looks like black. Duh. <laughs> that was profound, wasn't it? <laughs> black looks like black. How about we just do green? This green. A little color on here. Okay, let's see what we have here. There we go. I think they turned out great. And if you would pop on over to Angela's channel, DP Creepy Cuties, and check out her intro video, any of her other videos. If you're a diamond painter or you love creepy things, or you just want to support a little channel, this is for hashtag love a little channel. Promoting DP Creepy Cuties, Angela's channel, and it was started by Carol at Crinkle Path. Thank you, Carol. And my name is Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful, crafty day.